Did you ever wonder how to save money while living on a low income? Actually, though that may sound difficult or even impossible to achieve, in this video, we're going to show you how you can live on an extremely low income using some basic tips on a day to day basis. So make sure you stay till the end to discover 14 tips that can help you live on an extremely low income and even save money. Number one, stay away from debt. Steer clear of getting into debt. That may sound contradictory to advise you to stay out of debt when you don't have enough to live on, right? Yet, when you don't have any payments to make as a result of being in debt, you have complete control over the most effective weapon you have for accumulating wealth. When you refrain from donating your money to other people, you improve your chances of becoming wealthy and make the process of doing so much simpler. To put it another way, this is where you make a list of all your debts from smallest to greatest, regardless of the interest rate associated with each one. Make the bare minimum payment on each of your debts and begin with the one with the smallest balance. The wisest course of action is to avoid going into debt. When you only have a small amount of money coming in each month, getting out of debt can feel like an enormous challenge. This is where the well-known debt snowball approach developed by by Dave Ramsey comes into play. It is so straightforward and fruitful that it will completely transform your life. You simply need to make a list of your obligations in ascending order from lowest to largest, and then prioritize paying off the debt with the smallest balance fee. If you are enjoying this video, subscribe to this channel in order to get more videos like it, okay? On to number two, make fancy coffee at home. At home, brew yourself a cup of coffee that's fit for a gourmet. You are able to create delicious coffee right in your own home. Coffee is one of those things that are considered a must for the home. And there's a good possibility that you drink at least one cup of coffee every single day. On the other hand, if you purchase that cup of coffee from Starbucks or any other coffee shop, you are wasting a sizable amount of money that you do not have to waste. You shouldn't go out and buy fancy coffee. Rather, you should start making fancy coffee at home and start by buying the brand of beans that you enjoy. The price of coffee outside may seem meaningless to you, but it does add up quickly, and your savings will be big over time when you make it at home. Number 3. Find Cheap Alternatives The use of extreme methods frequently yields similarly extreme outcomes. Find things to do that don't cost a lot of money. You don't need to spend $100 in a single night to have a good time. You just need to find ways to have fun that does not cost a lot of money. Don't go out with people with the intention of spending money. Rather, enjoy their company around free or cheap hobbies. It would be much simpler for you to manage your finances on a limited budget. Playing board games that are already in your collection with your family and friends is one example of the activities that you can enjoy doing. Or you may spend time in a park that is totally free or whose annual registration fee is literally peanuts compared to the enjoyment you can have going there almost every weekend or every day of your choice during the year. Number four, eat well for less. We all want to eat well, but Dave Ramsey says that you're likely going to underestimate how much you're going to spend on food. This does not mean that you have to eat canned beans every day. You can eat extremely well for little if you shop smart and plan ahead. There are many websites consider top online resources that you can use for culinary inspiration. We all want to eat properly, but according to what Dave Ramsey has said, you're probably going to underestimate how much food you need. Number 5. Lower Your Transportation Make a note of all your monetary commitments at the end of the day and do this consistently. Cut down on the money you spend on transportation. Find strategies to reduce the amount you spend on travel and increase your savings. Alternate modes of transportation can be a literal lifesaver for some of you. If, for example, you wish to totally forsake using your own automobile, you should think about how much money you could save by not using any gasoline. For example, try to cut down on the amount of time you spend driving by taking advantage of public transport or joining a carpool. 
you will see how much saving you get by doing a simple change like that. Such simple changes can be done in many aspects of your life. Keep watching till the end to know more. Number 6. Use Nature for Exercise We're talking about simple things in your daily life that can make big changes, and one of those changes is to make your workouts more conducive to the great outdoors. Make the most of the outdoors as a place to get your workout. What do going for a walk, going for a run, or riding a bike all have in common? Well, all of these activities are wonderful ways to get in shape without having to shell out any cash on a regular basis. Dave Ramsey is a runner to the point of obsession, despite the fact that he has the financial means to pay for an expensive gym membership. If you want to get in a better shape, you should begin by making the most out of the resources that are already in your body. This will help you get started on the path to better health. Number 7. Buy what you need It is fundamental to make the difference between what you need and what you want. A quick simple example is that you need clothes and shoes for your body, but buying brand clothes or brand shoes is just a want, not a need. Always try to acquire the stuff you need to get started. There are several of them available. If you follow along, you'll be as rich as Dave Ramsey and maybe even richer if you buy what you need. By focusing only on the necessary things we need instead of purchasing everything we want that may not even be necessary, you will see how much money you free up in your life. Remember, necessities are what we need in life. Everything else is a want and can be avoided with discipline. That sentence may need to be rewritten on the ceiling in your bedroom, so it can be the first thing you see in the morning when you wake up before you even start your day and it will change your financial life. Number 8. Use Coupons Using coupons, which are now more accessible than ever thanks to the proliferation of mobile devices and applications, can help you save a significant amount of money. You should always keep an eye out for coupons. If you start putting these methods into action as soon as possible, the well-known financial guru Dave Ramsey will offer you his blessing and give this strategy his full support. And did you know that there are some browser extensions that can help you discover and get coupons for discounts on some websites? Yep. Number 9. Have your home cost zero. Get your home constructed at no cost to you. It might appear impossible to have your home built for no money, but in reality it's not that tough. Renting out your home's unused rooms on a short-term basis is the most efficient approach to reducing the cost of maintaining your property, bringing it down to zero dollars, and potentially even turning it into a profit. If you have enough room, you can also consider renting out your parking spot to someone else. Number 10. Start cooking Cooking can now get underway. Start preparing your own meals and bear in mind that when I suggested staying away from restaurants, what I really meant was that you should also stay away from purchasing processed foods from markets and other retail outlets. Mastering the art of cooking is a skill that is not only going to help you save a significant amount of money, but it will also make it possible for you to indulge in delicacies from all over the world without ever having to leave the coziness of of your own home. Who would have guessed that it would be possible to visit almost anywhere on the globe for less than five bucks? Yeah, hope you get the point. Keep watching till the end, you don't want to miss our four last tips on this list. Okay, number 11, know your spending. Maintain an accurate record of your spending. You need to keep a close eye on your finances, and the best way to do this, according to the advice of Dave Ramsey, is to write down all your expenses so that keeping track of them is simple and dependable. Your spending is where all of your money goes, and if you don't have control over it, you'll be forced to live from paycheck to paycheck check for the rest of your life if you don't have a handle on it. Number 12. DIY everything. Do it yourself. Everything should be done by you DIY. If it is something that can be fixed, then you ought to be the one to fix it. If you're feeling adventurous, take on the larger chores yourself. You'll be able to reduce costs by at least 50% if you do a job yourself rather than hiring someone else to do it. Now, the majority of jobs in our home can easily be done on our own, 
but if you are feeling adventurous, take on those larger tasks yourself as well. Number 13. Reduce your energy consumption. Reduce the amount of energy that you are now consuming. Although we all need energy to live, it's likely that you don't need as much as you're consuming now to meet your needs. If you want to catch up on your spending, Dave Ramsey says you will need to find ways to cut them before you can catch up. Your good fortune is that decreasing the amount of energy you use is one of the simplest things that novices can do to help the environment. No wonder why some energy companies have programs to learn rebates when you consume less energy. It's not only about you, do a favor to mankind. And number 14, find cheaper accommodations. Find accommodations that are within your budgetary constraints. Find places to stay that are more comfortable than your current options. It is not uncommon for people to embark on short trips away from home for the purpose of conducting business or other significant reasons. If you're seeking the least expensive location to stay, your best bet is to steer clear of hotels altogether and investigate alternative lodging choices instead, such as Airbnb and Verbo. That's it, friends. 14 tips to live on an extremely low income. You can get more just like this. All you need to do is to subscribe.